What's going on everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are back with another episode of Pokemon Sapphire, Amy's third journey through the world of Pokemon. Last time, Amy won her sixth gym badge <laughs> in yeah. spectacular fashion from the flying Pokemon gym, thereby defeating her greatest nemesis, of course, <laughs> in birds. <laughs> uh, then we made our way south and then east to try to get to the next town. And we have been rather desperately seeking that town. Uh, and as you can see, we have a fainted Ninkato, which we are trying to level up so that it will evolve. Uh, we have Leiron, Gardevoir, Lombre, and Roselia on us because we have deposited Mightyena and Blaziken for now, but we will pick them up shortly, hopefully. So uh, we had discussed at the Lay end of the... Run. <laughs> That's right. Because while waiting for Ninkata to evolve, Aeron evolved into Leiron. So cool. Yeah. So uh, we had talked at the end of the last one about whether you wanted to just try to get to the next town or whether you wanted to revive Ninkata. I think we are revive Ninkata if we're not close. Okay. But I would love to have, like, Mighty Anna in that empty spot on our team right now. But okay. since we can't until we get to a center, mm -hmm. I think we revive Ninkata and then, you know, do that as soon as we get back. You got it. Okay, so we will revive Ninkata. It is level 19, so then you want to go talk to this lady? Yeah. Okay. Stop! Have a good look at my precious Pokemon! Okay. <laughs> Beauty Jessica would like to battle with two Pokemon. Wow, well, how did I emphasize the word that poorly? Anyway, <laughs> it is Kecleon. Gross. Let's Ooh. put in Lombre. You know it. We know the order to face Kecleons. Or the order of attacks to face Kecleons. Kecleon used Lick. Hot. <laughs> uh, fake out first. <laughs> fake out. Surf. We will use. Yes, we will use Surf. all of Lombre's attacks if we have to. Nice beam. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I said them all. Yes, you did. <laughs> wow, that did a lot. Lick again. Okay. Then absorb. Nice. Very nice. And. Kecleon used Faint Attack. And finally, Ice Beam. Gotcha. Super effective. Kecleon faints. Ninkata gains 423 and grows to level 20. Nice. So, 44 health, 25 attack, 42 defense, 23 special attack, 20 special defense, 23 speed. And Lombra gained 423 as well. Beauty Jessica is about to use Sev Viper. Ooh. Will we change? Yes. To? Ninkata. And here, yeah, I don't think you've seen this Pokemon before. No. Maybe you have. But here's Sev Viper. Whoa. What do you think? He looks like an asshole. <laughs> uh, it's she looks like an asshole. Anyway. <laughs> she looks like an asshole. Who will we put in against Civ Viper? Uh, that's a good question. Thanks. Who will we put in? I don't know. Because I don't know. What, uh, what type do you think it looks like? Uh, um, like a ground? Okay. So maybe we put in... We could leave in Lombre. <laughs> well, leave in. We, Put we have back in Lombre. Sure. Okay. Put in Lombre. So Viper used Crunch. Are we just going to die? Yep. Yes. Lombre fainted. Who's next? Let's heal Lombre. Or revive him. Her. Okay. Who would we like to go in to take attacks while we revive Lombre? Um, Leron. 
Okay. Leron comes in, and you want to use a revive on Lombre? Yeah. Lombre regained health. So Viper used Screech, and it missed. Nice. Fight, switch. Switch to Lombre. If it's a ground type, that should work well, but otherwise it's probably terrible. <laughs> okay. So Viper used Screech. Our defense harshly fell. Okay. Well, we can fake out at least. Make it flinch, and then what? Um... So according to this, we could use like any of our attacks, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so let's use Surf. It used Screech again. We're at minus four defense now. We use Surf. Very nice. It finishes it off, notably, not super effective. Ah. So not seemingly the ground type, but still, you beat it, so congrats. Fosa Viper fainted. Ninkata gained 352, Leron gained 352, and Lombre gained 352. Very nice. And player defeated Beauty Jessica. Oh, how dare you! Don't take it so seriously! Well, I feel like you're the one taking it seriously if you're gonna say how dare you to me. <laughs> we also got $2,400 for winning. Ooh. And... <gasps> Ninkata is evolving. Oh my god, it's gonna be the bee. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's... It's the bee. <laughs> Congratulations, your Ninkata evolved into Ninjask. Ninjask is trying to learn double team. But Ninjas can't learn more than four moves. Delete a move to make room for double team? Yeah. Okay, so you have Scratch, Fury Swipes, Leech Life, Sand Attack. Hmm. And double team. I feel like double team is not better than any of those, even though those are all also really shitty. <laughs> well, I will say, double team and Sand Attack do the exact same thing. Oh. Right? It, just in different ways. So... Sand attack reduces the foe's accuracy by hurling sand in its face, whereas double team creates illusory copies to raise evasiveness. Right. So technically, for two reasons, double team is better than sand attack. Firstly, actually, that's not fair. There's one reason it's better, and there's one reason it could be better. Sand attack is 100% accurate, which means that its accuracy can be lowered, whereas this just will happen right? So okay. this could theoretically miss. So that's one way that double team is automatically better. The way that it's different, and it could be better, could be worse, is that sand attack targets them, whereas double team is about us. Mm. So if you're planning on keeping Ninkata in, then double teaming makes sense. If you want the Pokemon's accuracy to go down so that it can't hit anybody, then sand attack is better. You know what I mean? Oh, interesting. So, like, Ninkata could be evasive and dodge attacks from that Pokemon, and if you're facing a trainer, maybe the next Pokemon they put in, etc. Whereas, if you're only facing one foe, but you plan on switching Ninkata or Ninjask out, then Sand Attack is probably better, because then that Pokemon that you're facing is going to have a hard time hitting anybody that's in, right. not just Ninjask. So they're different, but they do the same thing um, the same general thing. Okay. So I which think of those we can double team here? You'll keep the double team over sand attack. Yeah. Okay. No problem. We'll do the double team instead of keeping the sand attack. Sure. Yeah, because the ground type is irrelevant because it doesn't do damage, so the type right. of attack is irrelevant. Right. Okay. So one, two, and poof! Ninjask forgot sand attack, and Ninjask learned double team. Ninjask is trying to learn Fury Cutter. Ooh. But Ninjask, Ninjask can't learn more than four moves. Delete a move to make room for Fury Cutter? Yes. Okay. No, so, like, this is the first time ever that a Pokemon is trying to learn two moves at once. That is correct. Um, it's awesome. <laughs> so, just as a reminder, Fury Cutter is a bug-type attack with 95% accuracy 
and 10 power, but it's an attack that intensifies on each successive hit. Okay. So if it misses, you go back to square one. It's very much like rollout in that way. Very. Right. Um, and you have your other bug type attack right now is Leech Life, which is 20 power, 100 accuracy, and it's like Absorb and Mega Drain and right. Giga Drain, etc., where you take some of that health back. I kind of want to... Oh. I was going to say, I kind of want to replace Scratch with it. Okay. Scratch is the foe with sharp claws. 100% accuracy, 40 power. Right. And there's 35... PP. Correct. So Fury Cutter is definitely not better than that. Yeah, well, except that it's stab, right? A bug oh. type attack is stab on Ninjask that's a bug type Pokemon, as opposed to scratch, which is not stab because it's not a normal type. You have Fury Swipes that's 18 power, 80 accuracy, but hits two to four times, or two yeah, to five times, excuse that's me. That's better. Um, again, Leech Life, double team, of course. I think we keep Scratch. Oh, so don't learn Fury Cutter at all? Or replace yeah. something else? Okay. Is that stupid? I don't know if it's stupid. I think it's your call. Right? Yeah. I think... I think the thing is with Fury Cutter, if you use it the second time, it becomes better than Leech Life. Except that its accuracy is 5% down. Except that Leech Life gives us health back. Sure, but it's half of 20 power. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe, right? You're going to use it when the bug type is super effective, so... Use it against grass types, use it against psychic types. Right. Okay. So we could do that. Alright, so you'll you will not you learn Fury Cutter. I think so. Okay, no problem. So, stop learning Fury Cutter? Yeah. Okay. Ninjask did not learn Fury Cutter, and Ninjask is trying to learn Screech. Oh. But Ninjask can't learn more than four moves. Delete a move to make room for Screech. No. No? Okay. I don't like Screech. No problem. Stop learning Screech? Yes. Ninjask did not learn Screech. There you go. I thought for sure it was going to ask for another fucking move. <laughs> so guess what, Just an endless loop of it asking <laughs> to add moves. What about this one? What about this one? Uh, I wanted to show you. Well, actually, let's talk to her. Maybe I'll go catch more Pokemon at the Safari. I wanted to show you something. Mm -hmm. You have a full team of six Pokemon right now. Uh, what the fuck? So you have a Ninjask, a Leyron, Gardevoir, and... Lombre, Roselia, and... I don't know what the hell it is. It's called Shedinja. It's level 20. And basically what happens is... when but it Nin has no health. It has one health, one hit point, yes. And it's level 20, just like your Ninjask. When Ninkata evolves, it's like it's a cocoon, right? Okay. So it the cocoon splits open, and Ninjask flies out, and the cocoon that's left over, or the skin that is shed, Ew. stays behind as a Pokemon Gross. with one health. So if you want to look at your... Shedinja, it is a bug ghost type Pokemon. Its ability is Wonder Guard. Super effective hits. Meaning, if an attack is super effective, it will hit Shedinja and Shedinja will faint. If the attack is not super effective against Shedinja, it will do zero damage to Shedinja. Whoa. Interesting. It has one health, 43 attack, 24 defense, 23 special attack, 20 special defense, 23 speed. It has scratch, fury swipes, leech life, and double team. Okay. Now, 
I know you like the B. I wanted you to see that Shedinja was a thing. You needed an open slot on your team to be able to get Shedinja when Ninkata evolved. You do whatever you want with this information. Keep it, put it back in the box, release it, I don't care. But I wanted you to see that okay. that is what Ninjask does for you. So is so. this is a whole separate Pokemon. Correct. It has so I no can put this one in the box and still use the other one. Correct. Or wow. vice versa, yes. Okay. And that's not me pushing you, I'm just saying, yes, it works both right. ways that way, yes. Okay? okay. So, that being said, uh, you have Ninjask at the top. And you have Shedinja at the bottom. Do you want to switch anybody around at all, or are you okay with where they are? I think I'm okay with where they are. You got it. Okay, we already talked to her. Let's walk through this grass. Okay, we're moving out to Mount Pyre. Let's follow. Okay, because we can't go there, because we don't have cut on us right now. Uh, so do we want to go down or to the right? Uh, well, I think they went down, but then we'll have to fight this lady. Okay. So, that's okay, though. Okay. Oh. I guess she didn't, didn't. She didn't try to fight us. Oh. Mount Pyre Pier. Oh. The sign is old and worn out. The words are barely legible. Ahead looms Mount Pyre. It is a natural monument to the spirits of departed Pokemon. Whoa. Okay. okay, so we can surf, let's go. or we can go to the right up here. Okay, let's go to the right. Okay. It's a wild Pokemon. Zigzagoon, level 26. Fight or switch? Fight. Scratch, leech life, double team, fury swipes. Fury swipes. We are faster. Fury Swipes does that much. Hit three times. Okay. Zigzagoon used Mud Sport. Don't. And Electricity's power was weakened? Yes, correct. Ninjask's speed boost raised its speed because nice. that's Ninjask's ability. I forgot to mention that to you when we were looking at it. Well, let's, uh, let's do it again. Fury swipes again. Hit twice. Zigzagoon used Pin Missile. Oh god, what? Two damage. Two damage. It's not very effective, and it hit twice. Yeah. Our speed boost raised our speed. Again? Happens every turn. Nice. <laughs> Fury swipes. It missed. Oh. Sand attack. No. Lowers our accuracy. Speed boost raises our speed. Okay. Let's do some of these other ones. Let's <laughs> do uh, Scratch. Scratch Ooh. hits. Odor Sleuth. Oh god. Zigzagoon identified Ninjask. Who speed cares? boost raises our speed. Scratch. Ooh, very Ooh. close. Pin Missile. Let's use Leech Life. Five damage. I should have done that one last time. Two damage. Two damage. Hit three times. Speed boost raises our speed. Leech life. Misses. Zigzagoon used pin missile. Stop doing it. Two. Two. Three. Two. It's just spitting spitballs at Hit us. Hit four times. He's throwing pins at you. No. Okay. Leech life misses. Ah. Mud sport fails. All right, let's just uh, cherry swipes. Okay. Hit once. Zigzagoon is down. Ninjas gained two twenty-two. Nice. Okay. You want to go up or to the right? To the right. Okay. We run into a wild Pokemon. It is a Lanoon. Mm. We've got Ninjask. Fight or switch? Switch. Two. 
I don't remember what this thing was. Do you remember what it evolves from? Oh, Zigzagoon. So it's a normal type? Unless it gained a type when it evolved. <laughs> don't don't make that mocking face. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put Gardevoir in. You got it. <laughs> okay. And hit Psychic. Okay. Lenoon used Odor Sleuth oh, good. and identified Gardevoir. And wasted a turn. And we used Psychic. <laughs> <laughs> and Very finished nice. it off. Lenoon fainted. Ninjas gained 237. Gardevoir gained 237. Uh, okay, so up here we go to the left, to the old man, or to the right, to the lady? To the lady. Will you play with my delightfully pretty Pokemon? Sure. What do you have? She's got little Whalmer dolls. Pokefan Vanessa would like to battle with one Pokemon. Okay. And it is... Pikachu! We've got Ninjask. Pikachu's level 31. Fight or switch? Oh boy. Let's switch. Two. Um, let's play. Uh, well, I guess Slumbre? And we'll surf it. You're looking or, I'm direction. reading in the wrong direction. Yep. Okay. Um, Electricity likes water. Uh, so I guess we'll use, um, Lairon. Okay. So Ninjas comes out, Lairon comes in, Pikachu used Slam and dealt one damage. Don't use Slam. Takedown, Dig, Aerial Ace, Iron Tail. Dig. Double Team. It raised its evasiveness. We dig a hole. Pikachu used Thunderbolt and it missed. Lairon nice. used Dig. And finished it in Very one hit. Nice. I'm really glad that it used the Thunderbolt on the team on the um, the turn where we had dug. Absolutely. So Pikachu fainted, but its static ability paralyzed Layron. What? It may be unable to move. Fuck Nin you. Ninjas gained 271, and Layron gained 271. We defeated Pokefan Vanessa. This isn't what I meant. We got $2,480 for winning. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to a contest in Lily Cove. My Pokemon should have no problem sweeping the master class. With who? What? With who? Oh, because master class, the YouTube uh, channel. Um, uh, well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. But I meant like. Who are they sweeping the master class with? I I don't I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, to the left to like the old to man. Be a broom. Or to the right. I don't know. Let's. Be, I feel like we're supposed to follow Team Aqua. Okay. But <laughs> we're over here now. Why? Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Which way? To Team Aqua. <laughs> it looks like you're going to have to find them. Yeah, they're on the fucking mount thing. Mount Let's Pyre. surf. Okay, so you want to go back to the water and surf? Yeah. Okay. We run into a wild Pokemon. It's a Wingull. Wingull sucks. <laughs> Level 28. We've got Ninjask, level 20. Fight or switch? Switch. Two. Uh, Gardevoir? Yep. And we're gonna do a... Confusion, probably. Uh, 28. And... You don't want to use... Psychic. You... What? Oh, Shockwave. I was gonna say. Sorry. We, we went to Gardevoir for a very specific uh, reason. Yes, yes. I just <laughs> forgot what that reason That's was. That's okay. <laughs> there you go. Four I just times. remembered that Gardevoir was good against these. There you go. Wingull fainted, Ninjas gained 128, Gardevoir gained 128. Okay, so we're going back to the water. Damn. 
Okay. It's a Shuppet again. We have Ninjask. Fight or switch? Switch. Two. We're almost dead. Stop asking if we're gonna fight with it. Okay. <laughs> so switch to whom against a ghost type? No. We're gonna do. What, psychic or no? If it's ghost poison, then yeah, but if it's just uh, ghost, no. What? Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> Fine, be that way. <laughs> but it says a plus for psychic. Oh, okay. Or is that I'm reading it the wrong direction? Again. Maybe. There's Psychic, and then Ghost. Yeah, so the attack is a Ghost-type attack, which would be super effective against a Psychic-type Pokémon. Okay. So you don't want to put in Gardevoir, because it would be weak to that. To a Ghost. You're weak to that. I'm weak to a lot of things. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> Alright, let's just kill this thing with whatever. <laughs> Roselia! Okay. Magical Leaf. Okay. So we send in Roselia. Shuppet used Curse. Don't. So it puts Suck a nail into its face to curse Roselia. Roselia is afflicted by the curse, which dealt, what, 19 damage to us? Magical Leaf. Okay. We use Magical Leaf. Finish it off with a crit. Shuppet fainted. Ninjas gained 180. Roselia gained 180. Okay. Alright. So we will surf on Lombre. You want to go to the right or down? Down. It's we, the mountain. We run into a wild Tentacool level Gross. 19. Uh, switch or run? Ooh, run. Got away safely. Let's go to the mountain. We run into a wild... Wingull! Switch or... Ooh, level 29. Switch or run. Gardevoir. And shot. Is it Shock? Shock Wave. But Shock yes. Wave. Yeah, you got it. Shock is a magic card. Oh. Close <laughs> enough, though. Yeah, it's pretty close. I, I knew exactly what you meant. Shock Wave. Done. Super effective. Wingull fainted. Ninjask gained 132. Gardevoir gained 132. Okay, up or down? Ip. Okay, there's a cave here. Mount Pyre. We never went to a Pokemon Center. Oh, is that why you didn't want to go here? I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but you're following Team Aqua, and this is what your team looks like. Well, so let's use some of our items. Okay. Whoops. Sorry. Okay. So, we have... Sorry, this way, right? Yeah. Super potions, hyper potions, we have nuggets, rare candies. Alright. So, super potion on whom? Gardevoir. Okay. Yeah. And Ninjask. Okay. Uh, and then... Eh, I guess just on the other two, too. You got it. Okay. Very good. Okay. And then... Talk to people? Yeah, I guess we can just leave the paralysis on, uh... Later on. Because okay. who cares about that? I mean, it's up to you. We've got a lot of ways to get rid of it. We've got two paralyzed heals, five full heals, um... And... For berries, we have... Oh, Three cherry berries. All right, let's give him a cherry berry. Oops, I checked the tag, and I just don't care about the tag. We will give it to Lairon. Lairon was cured of paralysis. 
Okay. Did you come to pay your respects to the spirits of departed Pokémon? You must care for your Pokémon a lot. This is the final resting place of my Zigzagoon. I cherished it. Okay, there's a person over in the corner. Person! All sorts of beings wander the slopes of Mount Pyre. Mm. There's no telling what may happen. Take this. It's for your own good. Okay. Too bad. The bag is full. Oh. Okay. So if we go to our bag, we have four soda pops, two paralyzed heals, one awakening, two antidote, five full heal, four escape rope, a dire hit, two burn heal, the blue flute, five lava cookies, energy powders, energy roots, revives, max revive, ether, super potion, hyper potion, super repel, nugget, rare candy, and close the bag. Let's use our rare candy. On? I have no idea. Uh, Ninjask? Ninjask is pretty close to leveling up. Oh. So, don't forget. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's based on that little blue line at Correct. the bottom. Yes. So, that's okay. how cl Ninjask literally needs 67 more points to level up. So, never mind. Uh, Leiron is over halfway right. there. Okay. Gardevoir is over three quarters of the way there. Lombre is on the low end, about a quarter, maybe a little less. Okay. Roselia, close, but Lombre is technically less. And Shedinja is much less as well. Let's use Shedinja. You want to put a rare candy on Shedinja? Yeah. You got it. Shedinja was elevated to level 21. So, no HP gain. What a surprise. One health, 45 attack, 25 defense, 24 special attack, 20 special defense, 24 speed. Okay. So now we'll find out what this person's got. All sorts of beings wander the slopes of Mount Pyre. There's no telling what may happen. Take this. It's for your own good. Obtained the cleanse tag. Ah. Gruel put away the cleanse tag in the items pocket. So if we look, cleanse tag is a hold item that helps repel wild Pokemon. Oh. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Do you want to put that on somebody? Yeah. We can put that on Ninjask. Okay. So you give Ninjask the cleanse tag. Very good. And we run into a wild. Wow, <laughs> it works so well. <laughs> Shuppet, level 28. Fighter switch. Uh, what the fuck is this thing? Did we figure that out? <laughs> what does it look like? A ghost? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so let's... Um, let's fight it. Okay. With? Um. Scratch. Nope. Uh. Fury swipes. No. Stop trying to use normal type attacks on a ghost. Um. A leech life. Okay. It's not very effective. Okay, let's switch out. Cool. Shuppet used Spite. What the fuck? Reduced Ninjask's leech life by three, and our speed boost raised our speed. <clears throat> okay, so we will switch to... <laughs> I don't want to use Shedinja. Okay. Because it'll kill it. Okay. Right? Super effective attacks are able to hit Shedinja. Right. So, and a ghost is super effective against a ghost. That is correct. So, I want to use um, no normal and no fighting and no poison and no bug. So, Roselia. Right? Roselia technically has poison... Um, a, a poison type attack, but you have mostly you have three grass. Yeah, let's attacks, use so. Mega Drain. You got it. Shuppet had its energy drained. Shuppet used Spite. 
and reduced Roselia's Mega Drain by three. Now, fascinatingly, you had four power points on Mega Drain when you used it, which would have brought you down to three. Then it reduced your Mega Drain by three, and so now you are out of Mega Drains. Hmm. Fine. Magical Leaf. You got it. So that is what Spike does. It removes power points from your moves. Shuppet fainted, Ninjas gained 194, and grew to level 21. 58 health, 45 attack, 25 defense, 33 special attack, 29 special defense, 70 speed. Wow. It's a very fast Pokemon. And it has an ability that raises its speed every single turn well, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's like that, I assume. All right, so do we want to go to the right or up the stairs? To the right. Or sorry, to the left. Or to the left. I don't know why I messed up my card. Red directions. carpet. Yeah. Okay. We run into a wild Shuppet, level 24. Okay. Switch. Yeah. Two. We'll just put Roselia back in and we'll use Magical Leaf. You got it. Take out Ninjask, put in Roselia. Shuppet used Nightshade. Gross. Okay. We'll use Magical Leaf. The Nightshade did 24 damage. Does Nightshade mean that it's a dark type, too? Maybe. Shuppet fainted, by the way, with that one hit. Nicely done. Ninjas gained 166. Roselia gained 166. Okay. So we'll go to the red carpet, which takes us back out on Mount Pyre. All right. I don't think there's anything here, right? Had to check. It's a Metatite. Oh. Remember what we found out about their typing? That it's a psychic. And? And something. Dark? What? No. no. What gym did we predominantly see it in? Do you uh, fighting. Yeah. Fighting and psychic. So we want to use... I don't know, man. <laughs> Not Bug. Bug is super effective against Psychic. But not against... But not effective against fighting. We could use our normal type attacks on Ninjask. Okay, Scratch or Fury Swipes? Um, Scratch. Are you, did you think that normal is gonna be super effective against this? Cause then you're reading it backwards. Fighting is super effective against normal. Oh, I'm reading it backwards. Normal right is not super effective against anything. Right. God damn it. I should just hold it the opposite way. It's so annoying. <laughs> okay. Um. Like this. Okay. Um, so poison. I should use. No. It, no. Psychic is super effective against poison. I don't understand how you're reading it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. So this is the type of Pokemon that you're looking at, are these, and this is the type of attack that the Pokemon is using. Okay. So... If you're fighting against a psychic and fighting type Pokemon, you want to go down like this. That's what I always do. Okay. So you've now seen that uh, fighting would be not very effective because of it's not very effective against psychic. Okay. Uh, but it looks like flying would be super effective because it's neutral against psychic, but super effective against fighting. Uh, these would balance out, so Psychic would not be helpful, because it's not very effective against Psychic, but super effective against Fighting, so it would just be neutral. Same with uh, Bug, but for the opposite typings. 
and uh, it looks like Ghost could also be super effective because it's nothing against fighting, uh, neutral, but super effective against Psychic. And Dark. So Dark, Ghost, and um, Flying. Well, we don't have any of those. Well, we have Ghost, but it's also a bug. Sure, and it doesn't have any ghost type attacks. You care about the type of attack. Uh, so, you have a flying type attack that you just got. Ah, oh, shit. On Leyron. I always forget about it. Well, we only just added it, so I understand that. Leyron is here. Metatite used Confusion. Don't. Dealt five damage. It's not very effective. So, we will use Aerial Ace. Metatite used Detect. And protected itself. Leron used Aerial Ace and it protected itself. We do it again. Meditite used Hidden Power. It dealt three damage. It's not very effective. Aerial Ace finishes it off in one hit. Super effective. Nice. Meditite fainted. Ninjask gained 175. Leron gained 175. Okay. We run into a wild. Metatite, level 27. Is there any chance, I don't think it's going to matter or work, but is there any chance that you would want to catch this? No. Okay. Hidden Power. Does two damage, it's not very effective. Metatite used Detect, no surprise there. Metatite protected itself, Leron used Aerial Ace and it protected itself. It used Mind Reader. Ew, what? And it took aim at us. But we use Aerial Ace, and it is irrelevant. Okay. Yay. Super effective. Metatite fainted. Ninjas gained 175. Leron gained 175. Moving on. Okay. Okay, you want to go down to the item, or just up the stairs? Down. You found TM48. Ooh, what's that? It's... Skill Swap. Switches abilities with the foe on the turn this is used. Hmm. Okay. Okay, is there anything over here? There isn't, right? What do you think of this music? It's weird. You don't like it? No, it's different. Okay. We run into a wild... Shuppet. What do we use against Shuppet? Oh, Roselia, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, Ninjask comes out, Roselia comes in, Shuppet used Curse. Weird. <laughs> Shoves a nail into its face, cuts its own HP, and lays a curse on Roselia. Roselia is afflicted by the curse and takes damage. Now what will we do? Um, Giga Drain, Poison Sting, Magical Leaf. Giga Drain. We use Giga Drain. It finishes it off and we gain some health back. Shuppet fainted, Ninjask gained 187, Roselia gained 187. Up the stairs. Huh. Okay. Ah! It's foggy. Yeah, you want to go to the item, to the right, or to the left? To the right, what are these things? Gravestones. Oh. They're just orange now, so I didn't think they were. Yeah. We found a max potion. Oh, sweet. Alright, let's go down to the left. Okay. okay and up this, oh. There was a max ether on this headstone, but the bag is full. Poop nuggets. Yup. Just full of random crap. Okay. Is there anything that you want to toss or try to use or? Um. 
I can't see anything. Sorry. Just keep moving it. Sorry. <laughs> so we've got Soda Pops, Paralyze Heals, Awakening, Antidotes, Full Heals, Escape Ropes, One Dire Hit, Burn Heals, Blue Flute, Lava Cookies, Energy Powders, Energy Roots, Revives, Max Revives, Ether, Super Potions, what Hyper are the Potions. Energy Root. What energy energy root uh, it restores 200 HP. Jesus Christ. It's a hyper potion, but it's bitter. No. Energy powder is a super potion, but bitter. Okay. Super repel nugget max potion. What about the ether? Ether restores the PP of a selected move by 10. You cannot buy these items. You have to keep them from when you find them. And th these are usually pretty useful against, like, the Elite Four. Yeah. Because you're going all the way through, you know? Shit. I guess we could offload our Super Repel. Uh, or use it. Yeah, I mean, I would just get rid of an Awakening, but Man. we have five full heals that do the exact same thing as an Awakening, but use work for other things as well. As well as, where is it? Five Lava Cookies that do the exact same thing. Okay. Okay, so let's... We really have not come across anything that's put us to sleep. Uh, we game. just went... We just got sung at in the last episode, but it's been, it had been a while before that, I think. Okay, so we found a max ether. So again, good things. Yeah. Um, okay. We can go up this way as well, because there's an ultra ball on this headstone. Nice. Okay. And then we go up this way. And we're still on Mount Pyre. What a surprise. And look who's here. Uh, ha, ha. Are you ready? No. <laughs> you have Ninjask at the top, Leiron, Gardevoir. Oh, this isn't bad. You like it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then we will face this guy. Let's give it a try. Actually, uh, because Amy said she wasn't ready, and because, you know, this, this episode has gone on long enough, I think we are going to call it there. Uh, obviously, we will... Uh, well, fine. <laughs> we'll obviously go on and face these guys uh, in the next episode, which will be next week. As we often mention, please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so that you make sure that you get notifications whenever any of our videos come out, including, obviously, the continuation of this series next week. It really does help us out, guys. Immensely. And it helps you out if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on one of these episodes, because it's been a wild ride so far, and it's probably not going to be stopping anytime soon, so... Uh, thank you all so very much for watching. Please don't forget that we have other channels linked down in the description description box below. Uh, so definitely make sure to check those out also. But for now, from us here at the Geek for All family of channels, I have been Joe. And I'm Amy. Don't forget likes and shares also immensely helpful. So thank you for doing that. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>